We've taught dozens of top producers how to build GPT. We've also given them a sneak peek of our AI voice assistant, Saya. Who am I speaking with and what can I help you with? And the number one question we get is, but can you make these calls through ChatGPT? The answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step how to do it. This is gonna be very straightforward. We're gonna use three platforms, ChatGPT for the prompting, relevance, for building out the flow of how this call happens and Vapi to actually make the call. So we're gonna to go to Explore GPTs and click on Create on the top right. The GPT Builder will ask you some questions as to how you wanna create this GPT, but we're gonna skip that and go straight into Configure. We're gonna give it a name. We're we'll gonna call it uh, Saya Voice. Saya Voice is a personal assistant to make my personal and business calls for me. I'm gonna copy paste the prompt that I fine tuned from one of Liam Audley's videos to make it a lot more efficient and effective. I'm happy to give you access to all the tools that I'm gonna use in this video. Just click the link below to book a free consultation with me and I'm happy to walk you through how to make this work for yourself. The prompt essentially goes through the role that Saya will have, some information about me, what the task is, and some step-by-step, -step, and then some general interaction guidelines. And then it goes through a process called an AMHLB to create prompts effectively. We're gonna give it a little image. We're gonna save it. Great, so great. So we're done with the prompt, but now we need to create some actions for this GPT. What actions allows you to do is to communicate with outside platforms. And this is the most powerful feature of GPTs. The platform that we're gonna use is Relevance. You can create an account for free. They give you a bunch of credits. It's my favorite platform and actually I just got a message back from their uh, support. They're super active. So thank you Relevance. Uh, not sponsored yet. And what we're going to do is create a new tool. Top right, create new tool. We're going to start from scratch. And we're going to start with some user inputs. In order for ChatGPT to communicate with the Relevance platform, it's going to need to know what it's going to call about. So we're gonna need a phone number, a clear objective for the call, and a first message. So, we're gonna need first input, a phone number, the phone to call, our task, which is what we're gonna call the system prompt for the agent. And then finally, our first message this is going to be the intro how Saya will introduce herself first message great how Saya will introduce herself obviously when you get access to this this is all tunable the objective to be accomplished to make this call happen. What we're gonna use is Vapi. So we're gonna have Vapi assistance. So I'm gonna share a different tutorial in which I walk through exactly how to create an assistant and the best settings to create an assistant with. For now, let's just buy a phone number. You can set up any area code. And now we have our phone number. Next, for tool steps, this is really where the magic happens. And what we're gonna use is the VAPI platform with Python in order to call the platform with an API call and make a phone call for us. When you get access to this tool, you can tweak it however you'd like. For now, we have this uh, function that I've worked on, some data about the phone number that we're using, the customer. This is something that just changed. We can go to the Vapi platform, look at the phone number, and right here, we click there to copy. 
and now we can paste our phone number ID. This is the phone that's gonna make the call outbound. We have a phone to call that we defined up here. Uh, we'll also have the system prompt and first message. So we have system prompt and first message. Again, I'll walk step by step through how to create a full assistant in a different video. For now, we're focusing on how to make ChatGPT make a phone call. So now that we have our code, we're gonna test it. That is super important for any step that you create while developing. Make sure you can test it. This is all for testing. So for this example, let's say I'm a real estate agent and I'm calling my mortgage lender to ask about the status of uh, Mark's pre-approval. I don't really wanna give them a call myself. I'm busy doing other things. I just need to know what the status is. So I have this scenario here. And small detail, the phone that I'm calling is actually the one that's recording. So I'll be right back. And we're back. So now we're ready. We click run all to test this out from the relevance platform and I should be receiving a call any second now. Wonderful, there it is, great. So if I answer, speaker. Hi, this is Saya, LA Health Assistant. Just calling to check on Mark's mortgage approval. Great, thank you, Saya. Wonderful. So what's next is connecting ChatGPT to relevance in order to make this call happen. So this is a really fun part. We're gonna save this and uh, rename it. Uh, uh, Saya phone uh, assistant. Cool. We're gonna save it again. Bam. Always save your relevance tools. But the day will come where you don't and you lose it and you have to do it again. That's why learning fundamentals is so important. So to connect ChatGPT with relevance, we're just gonna follow the very, very simple tutorial. So we're gonna go to create, configure, create new action, which is the tab I was showing you earlier. Create new action. And now we're here. Step two. What tools will your custom GPT use? So Saya phone assistant, um, and give your GPT access to relevance AI. We're gonna go uh, custom authorization, generate API key, and we're gonna copy that here. Uh, API key and custom. And we can copy the API key. And right here, we're just gonna write the word authorization. The back end of ChatGPT will know what to do with that. Finally, um, we're gonna create what's called a schema. A schema is an organized structure for information. What information is in there is, hey, what's the name of the tool? What can the tool do? What kind of information does the tool require? Like the phone number that you're calling. So we're gonna copy that here. Great. We're gonna format it. And now it's gonna give us a error. Sometimes this happens with uh, copying over schemas. Fortunately, I spend way too many hours figuring this one out, and all you gotta do is copy paste the open API um, sentence at the very top and change the, the version to 3.1.0. And now it works. So it has the SIA phone assistant, which is a post request, it's meaning it's sending information out in order to create uh, an action. And now we should be good. What I'm gonna do now is get uh, some instructions for uh, Saya to, to perform and make that call for me. Could you please call Paige at this number and ask her for an update on Mark's pre-approval? Since he's been waiting on it, please ask for when it will be ready and set up a meeting for that day. I can meet in the mornings. Great, so let's test this out.
Okay, so it's asking me for a preferred time frame. Um, let's see. Uh, I can do mornings. Um, this is days or times. I prefer Mondays. Cool. Gonna grab all of this information and send it over. Yep, that seems right. Uh, path method. Hash. Yep. Okay. Let's see what happens. Cool. So that worked. I am receiving a call, and let's see how the call goes. Hi, Paige. This is Saya, Alejo's assistant. I'm calling to ask about when Mark's mortgage approval will be ready. Hey, Saya. Uh, yeah, I think it will be next week. Thank you for the information. Alejo would like to set up a meeting with you for a Monday morning once the approval is ready. Does that work for you? Um, yeah, I guess I can have it ready by Monday morning. Yeah. Great. I'll let Alejo know that we are scheduled to meet on Monday morning. Awesome. I look forward to meeting with you. Thank you very much, Saya. Awesome. So that worked. Um, you can take this to the next level by setting up a getting transcript and finding out, hey, what happened during the call? Those are all things that I've done on my end. I wanted to keep this tutorial nice and short. If you wanna take this to the next level, if you wanna implement this to yourself, I'm happy to help you out one-on-one. -on -one. Just book a free consultation on the link below. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget, always keep prompting.